Hello everyone, welcome to Default Drupal channel. Today we are going to see about how to install Drupal by using Docker. Okay, so first, what is Docker? Docker is an open source application and it will help for developers to run, deploy, build and test their application quickly. And also when, when a developer working in a multiple project, each project will require some set of specification, right? So in that case, in that case, you can use Docker to do the multiple Drupal installation. And uh, to install a Drupal, sorry, Docker, you have to come, go to docs.docker.com and uh, this is the URL. I will attach it in the description. And you have to download the Docker uh, by using this button. And it will give you the exe file, you have to run it. So I already installed Docker in my system. And before dive into the video, you have to understand two things in Docker. That is, uh, one is container and one is the image. So what is the difference between container and image? What is container and what is image? So a uh, container is the one which is going to hold your application. Image is something like it's an artifact of your uh, containers. So it will be, it will not be in a running stage, but container will be in a running stage. Uh, I, will I will explain it in when we uh, run the commands. And next, for Drupal, we need two containers. One is for Drupal and one is for MySQL. So we have to, to create two containers and we have to link Drupal with the MySQL, okay? So let me tell you how to do that. First, you have to go to your command prompt. And here you have to run Docker PS. So what this command will do? This command will do will list all the set of containers which is running currently. So uh, this is the uh, Docker which I installed. When you click on the container, I don't have any container which is running currently. And when you click on the image, I don't have any image. So since I don't have any, it's not displaying anything. And next, what I'm going to do, I'm going to install a MySQL. To install MySQL, you have to go to the Docker Hub. Docker Hub. Open this URL and here I am going to search for MySQL. So uh, this is the MySQL official image. We are going to download this image only. So these are the uh, versions available for uh, MySQL. So I am going to use the latest version of the MySQL, okay? So for that, what you have to do, you have to go to this page and Docker, run, run will uh, run your container. If there is no image for MySQL, it will create an image and then it will uh, run your container, okay? iPhone D is a detach mode. So when you have, a, when you are running the command with the detach mode, once the command is executed, you can run another command if the if you are not running with the detach mode, you cannot run another command because the this command will be running in your command. When you use detach, the command will be running in the back end. So I'm using detach command here, hyphen D. And I'm going to give a name for my container. It's MySQL database. And next I have to give a environmental variable that is for MySQL root user password. So password is I'm giving as a root. And next I'm going to give MySQL colon latest, okay? When you run this, it will uh, check for image. If there is no image in your Docker, it will first download the image and it will uh, set up the container in the running stage, okay? Let it download fully. So let me show uh, Docker Hub for Do Drupal. So this is the official page for Drupal. When you scroll down, this pull command will pull your Drupal and it will create an image. It will not uh, create a container. You can use that too. So here you have a link for uh, tags. So here I am going to use the latest. So this is the latest uh, version of Drupal. So in this file, when you check Drupal version, 
it is using 9.4.8 okay i am going to install 9.4.8 now so once this command is done you can see the terminal is uh, closed and open for new, next command right when you are not using this detach mode this will not this will not be closed and it will be always open okay that is the meaning of detach and next is docker now what i am going to do i am going to create a container for drupal so before that go to your docker and check so here you can see in images we created a, a mysql image by running that command so once the image is downloaded you can see we have a container for a mysql database which you gave there and it's in a running stage okay so let's run docker ps and check so here you can see the container name and what port it is looking into okay and i'm going to do the uh, container setup for uh, drupal so docker run hyphen d hyphen hyphen name it's uh, uh, drupal drupal container name you can use drupal container or uh, drupal whatever you want and next is we are going to uh, mention the port by default it will point to the 80 port i already have amp in it so i am changing the port to 8080 and i am going to link this with um, mysql database the name which you gave here mysql database and the environmental variable for your mysql authentication mysql username it's a root and the password which you gave here another environmental variable mysql underscore password and that is also root and i am going to install drupal latest version so when you run this command it will be start downloading all your layers so container is made up of multiple layers if there is no image it will create an image first and then it will download all the layers let it download completely so when you see here it is saying pull complete pull complete right in mysql or uh, here so if you are uh, running the drupal command same again it will be saying like already exist it will not download again since i am downloading it first time it is taking more time when you download uh, the mysql second time or third time it will reuse the layers next time okay so let this download complete fully So now it is downloaded fully. The Drupal container is downloaded. When you go to the uh, Docker images, you can see there is one for MySQL and one for my, uh, Drupal. When you go to the container, you can see two containers are there. One is for Drupal container, one is for MySQL database. When you run uh, Docker PS, it will list currently running both, both containers. One is for Drupal and one is for MySQL. And for Drupal, we are going to point 8080, right? So go to your localhost colon 8080. This will point to the Drupal instance which you downloaded now in the uh, Docker. So save and continue. Standard profile. And here you have to mention the database name. So you can give whatever name you want. It will be created automatically. And the uh, root username and the password is root. In advanced settings, you have to give instead of localhost, you have to give the container name. It's a MySQL container, I think. MySQL, MySQL database. Okay. So you have to give MySQL database. Okay. So you have to pa pass the password and MySQL database. Port will be the same. You can see port is uh, 3306. You can use the same. So the Drupal is started downloading, sorry, installing. Here you have to configure Docker Drupal installation. Some, some mail ID, you can give whatever. And username, admin, 
password for that in the country and time zone and save and continue okay so you can see now uh, we successfully downloaded a drupal and installed by using a docker okay so this is how you need to uh use docker to install the drupal here you know no need to sign in for your uh, docker setup since we are using the public images so when it come to any organ organization or any companies they will have a private containers when you want to use the private containers you have to sign in since i'm using public containers i didn't sign in i just working without signing okay so that's it about today's video if you like the video please share like and subscribe to my channel Thank you. Bye.